Here we go. We have Terror from the Grave in Storybook Woods today. So how I came to this conclusion is I simply took all of the vehicle action cards that come with Terror from the Grave, I took out all the Season 1 stuff, and then I took the duplicates out, like there's two raft cards, and so I had five cards, I shuffled them up, I drew one at random, and it happened to be the raft. So that's how I determined where we were going to play the first time around. So I put the two raft cards that came with it right here in the tableau. We won't have them yet, not until we discover where the vehicle is. So we'll get there at some point, hopefully rather soon, because I love the idea of floating down the river with the uh, with the raft with like mounted crossbows on it or whatever. <laughs> it seems kind of fun here. So there's the card if you wanted to take a look at it. But otherwise, we're looking pretty straightforward here. Just uh, I've got everything set up now, except for the weird setup stuff that we have to do for the zombies, especially because Storybook Woods only has two escape zones, right? Up here and down here. So if we pull up the um, rules for Terror from the Grave, we have place... Let's see here. The horror level starts at four. There is no killer place during setup. Instead, place one zombie on each escape space and on the killer starting space. And then if there's only one escape zone, place one zombie there, two on the killer space. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to, because it sounds like they really want you to have four, we're going to put one here and one here. I've got two sitting up here on the setup card. We'll just put in the killer space when we get there. Now the vehicles, right? So I had to put these in coin capsules because they were so small and hard to pick up and they kept flipping over on me when I was uh, trying to shuffle them up here. They, I, you know, I would catch the edge of it and they would just flip over and I made it impossible to shovel, uh, to shuffle. So it says, take the four vehicle tokens and shuffle them face down, then evenly distribute them face down to the escape zone. So there's only two in this case. So we're just gonna take these two and put them here and we'll take these two and put them down here. We'll move the zombies in the easier to get to spot since I might not get to those escape zones for a little bit. All right, let's see what items we have. We have the flowers, that's good for reducing horror. We have the map, great for helping find items. And the cage, and this, if I remember right, that gets us the songbirds, right? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I really liked the songbirds. They were, they were very handy. You get to feel like a Disney princess, commanding little birds to go out and do your bidding and, you know, kill things in the forest, right? <laughs> All right, we have, what is this here? Scatter. Oh, this is awful. Look, okay, so first of all, you'll notice it says the killer spot is the escape zone, so we're starting with three zombies all together. The, let's see, we start dead center of the map, and oh man, it looks like, yep, every single space on the map, except for the escape zones, has a victim, which is awful, because remember, the, the, the zombies... If they don't have a target that they can reach, they will panic. So, you know, they, they do the, the shamble or whatever, right? So in this case, they're going to have plenty of targets to move all over the map. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's craziness oh, of all the things. So I noticed it looks a little blown out today, like a little bit brighter. And I know that the settings got screwed up on the camera, and I tried to reset everything, but they might be a little bit brighter than normal. So hopefully that doesn't make it hard to read some of these cards. I do apologize. All right, we have that. That's something I'll just have to look at later. Primrose Flowers is our starting event card. This says whenever a victim enters the meadow or glen, they immediately panic. So I keep... Uh, a collection of little miscellaneous tokens for things exactly like this because there's no way that I will remember this. So let's go ahead and put one of these in the glen or the meadow, which is, I know, over there, that uh, victims will immediately panic. Okay, so we're just going to keep that there. We're good to go, I think. All right, we're, wow, man, we're in the middle, and we're going to start on round one. We're going to have a horde. So here's the dark power, you know, uh, thing for for the, the, the horde. I don't know what the best course of action is, but I feel like preventing a horde is probably a good start, right? Uh, maybe it's a good thing that they're all piled up for me. I can just go in there and, and, and get them, maybe, perhaps? I don't know. Two successes on a walk. My lucky day. Okay, so minus one time. And we're going to go one, and then over the bridge, two. So first thing is, we're going to grab this person and take them with us, which we can use to evacuate. I'm going to go ahead and give... Oh, man. Minus one horror is great, but I don't think that we're going to be that lucky and knock it all the way down yet. So I, I kind of want the time to start. I want the time so I can get my hands on some cards. The second thing we're going to do is take a look at these vehicle cards. And the wheel is in there. Look at that. Okay, cool. So... Immediately, now, we have to go right back to the rules. 
Um, let's see here. Take the four vehicle tokens. No, that's not what I want. I want... No, that's not it either. There it is. All right, so... Um, if the steering wheel is revealed, remove all vehicle tokens from the board and place that specific vehicle's token in your space. So in this case, it's the raft, which is the exception. If it's a water-bound vehicle, place it in the closest eligible space. Take the vehicle action cards. Okay, so we're going to take these into our hand. Boy, maybe... Maybe that is good. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to have Storybook Woods over here on the right where it says, When found, place each of the four raft tokens so that each is surround or each is touching both the river and a, and a non-exit space. Um, one token must be placed in the raft's starting space closest to the exit space you are in when it was found. So let's see here. Um... Um, these are both equal, and I like that there's a whole mess of guys here, so I think we're going to put it there. We're going to put one on Grandma's house. We're going to put one down here, I think, right south of the Dell, and then up in the clearing. I really like this. That way I can get around a lot, I think. What else did that say? Um, let's see here. The raft may only move along the river from one token to the next. You are considered in the space the token is touching even if on the raft. Victims will not follow you on the raft. So that's that's nasty. Okay. Well, um, now that we're here, we have no choice but to beat up on a zombie, right? That's why, why we came up here. So let's see here. Oh my, look at that. My luck is, is, has changed today. Okay, so we're going to do one damage to a zombie, but at least we're not going to damage ourselves in the process. Wow, I never... <laughs> never have such good luck. Um, that's a bummer, though, that I don't have a way to do all kinds of damage to those guys, because I could hop on the raft now that we have the raft thing, but I'm not even there, but I have another walk card. I could get here. I could raft here and raft... Yeah, but there's nobody I can kill. And I could walk one, two... Theoretically, at best, I could get down here. Well, let's just see what, what Focus does for us. I didn't plan on doing this, but we've got so many cards to start, and I was rolling so well until it came to horror. Um, let's see here. I really do want to lower that horror. So let's get rid of... Do we get rid of a raft and a short rest? We don't need it. We're not hurt. I mean, they might hit us, but they're only going to hit us for like two points of damage. We're going to need the walk. Although we could take some sprints, right? We do have all sorts of time. All right, well, let's get rid of those two cards for one success on a focus. So that's minus one time, minus one horror. And, boy, do we, do we, do we just, do we move out of this space? Do we just leave these guys be? I feel like, well, they're probably going to go, well, if I stand there... Okay, hold on. So we know that they're going to target us, but they won't necessarily attack us. And we have so much time. We have seven time because we did so good with getting plus three time. We only spent, right, one to walk, one for the focus, and um, no, we didn't spend one for weak attack. So with seven time, we could just stand here, and there's only going to be two zombies there. I feel like we should take Furious Strike for four. That leaves us three. And then do we take a sprint and a close call? Or a distraction. No, because I tend to roll poorly and I'm going to need that close call, as we have all learned. All right, well, that was a lot more cards on turn one than I thought it was going to be. Let's put the raft back out here. All right, so we are reset. That's the end of the planning phase. Let's move on to the killer phase. So the minions here, they're going to target the nearest victim and walk towards them. These two guys are already on me. Then we're going to spawn another one, and it's going to go to... What does it say? Spawning zombies... Spawn a number of zombies as indicated by the current bloodlust level. Place one zombie at a time in each exit space, starting with the one with the least number of zombies in it, then the one with the next least, and so on, until the number of spawned zombies indicated has been placed. But it's only one, right? It's only one zombie. We're not spawning 400 zombies. We're spawning one zombie, right? Down there in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, that's a little excerpt from the FAQ that Van Ryder Games is maintaining on Google Documents. Do I spawn zombies after each zombie moves during the default killer action? No. Move each zombie and then perform the spawn action once. Do not spawn zombies for each zombie that moves. <laughs> you will lose very quickly if you do. Right. We're only spawning one zombie here, right? It only gets up to two, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad, he says. Right? This gets out of hand real fast is what happens. So let's... Move to their terror card. Oh no, out of the woods. So uh, the first bit here says if there are no victims on the board, discard and draw, but that's that's not our problem. Our problem is this. All victims that are not in your space move one space towards the village. 
So this is easy for some of these people. These all move here, and this guy, uh-oh, moves down there and here. But then, oh, and this guy's got to move probably that way. And then, oh, wait, that was this guy. And then this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this guy's going to come, oh, no, up to us. And then this guy will go down to go around that way. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, hmm. Oh, and then target final girl and kill. Oh, no. Ah, uh, okay. So it looks like, oh, I don't have a way to block this, do I? Of course I don't. So they're going to hit me. The two zombies in my zone are going to attack me for, oh, I didn't. I never did my hit points. Hold on. Here's all these guys all shuffled up. Boy. The nice thing about that is it kind of sorts itself out, right? <laughs> At some point, you look over to take damage. So we start with six hit points. So there's three, four. So we start with six. Patsy has six hit points. So we're going to go down to minus two hit points there, right? So that's that puts us down to four. Uh, and then... Where are we at here? They're going to target the final girl. So the only other zombies on the board are these. So how far away are they? This one's going to come that way, I imagine. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So this one will come this way. Not quite get to me, but it will kill this person. And then this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll say one, two, and three. That one goes up. Four, five, and six. That one goes down. Six. So this zombie's going to come down and kill this person. So, oh, we got two. See? Two dead bodies already. We're going to push the... The bloodlust up, which of course is going to push the horror back up, my favorite thing. Oh no, okay. And then they become zombies, right? They become zombies. So there we go. We've already gotten out of control. <laughs> we, so I don't become a zombie when they did my two points of damage, but you know the one that went down here and got killed and the one that went over here got killed became zombies when they died. That's a big thing to remember. So just, um, it says on the top right-hand corner there, anytime a... Oh! Wait a second, that's right, zombies are slow, they will only move once during the killer phase, during the minion action, as such, zombies ignore boots on terror cards. Wait a second, maybe we're not in such bad shape, because this guy would have stayed here, and this guy would have stayed there. Oh, I forgot all about that. So that guy is alive, but this guy is dead, so we will, we will have one dead body down here. Wow, I forgot all about that. I forgot all about that. Okay, well that's fine, because this guy moved over there, right, and then this got killed by that guy, so spawned another. Oh, f man, okay. Well then we can bring our horror down by one, because we're taking it down from there. That's right, I forgot, they get to ignore the boots on these cards. That's good for us. I still got hit, of course, but <laughs> that's, that's just how it is. All right. Well, okay. That's not so bad then, I guess. I mean, we only had one one death. All righty. So now it's back to panicking. Nobody's going to panic. So up key. Oh, yeah, panic. They're, they're, that guy's going to panic in my spot. Dang, that's a bummer. That would have been an easy rescue. Panic two, they're going to come down here. Bummer. Okay, so now it's our turn, right? Nothing to do for upkeep, so it's us. Let's just do furious... Well, hmm... Yeah, let's do Furious Strike on these guys. If we can do two points of damage and wipe them out, we're in business. Ah. Ah. All right, well, let's try a close call. Let's just spend all two points on it. Oh, hey, okay, all right. So Furious Strike hits. It's going to do two damage and lower the horror by one, so we'll kill these two. Hey, that's okay. That's okay. All right, so now what do we have here? We have... We have, we need to, we need to get down to, God, I, now I want the other raft card, which I don't have, so I can float over down there. So let's see where, how far we can get with, um, actually, let's try focus first. Let's try focus, because if we can pull up three dice on this, oh, you know what, good enough. So minus one, minus one time, but now we're rolling three dice, so let's hit, ooh, we can walk, we can walk pretty far, right? We have a sprint in here. One, two, three. We could theoretically get way down there. Although, do we want to? We don't have a lot of time, and we know that there's going to be a zombie spawn here, right? Again, because there always is, right on me. So maybe we should just stay right put, and um, we don't have enough for anything good. And I really would love to have our attack card. Oh, we are. We're going to have our small little weak attack, right? Yeah, we're going to have weak attack again. So maybe we just stay right here and we have a handful of cards 
So perhaps we take close call and raft. I love the idea of running the raft down the river. So now we have we have a lot of cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. We're still under the hand limit. We spent our three time. We're gonna put focus back out, furious strike back out, and close call. I really wanted a weapon though. Oh man. Okay, so let's see what happens now. So we're done. We're reset. We go to the killer phase. So the minions here are going to target and walk one space. That guy. Then these two guys are not going to... I don't think we spawned a zombie last time, did we? We had all that mess with the terror card I had to fix. And I don't remember if I... Oh, I must have spawned one because there was one down there. Okay, so... That guy's gonna move. These two guys can't get to a... Oh yeah, they can, they can get over here. Never mind. they're gonna go right over there instead of shambling. Okay, good. Boy, I'm doing great with the rules, keeping them in track today, aren't I? Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna spawn a zombie. And so the rule says it's gonna be an empty space, and if it's an, if, if, if they're equal, equal, it's the furthest one from me. So we're gonna put them over there. Man, yeah, now I really want to be on that raft. So, but now I need a third raft card for what I want to do, right? Because I want to be here and go one, two, three. Okay, well, we'll get there. I don't know how I'm going to kill people across the map, though, and I've only got one saved victim at this point. Okay, so we're going to draw a terror card for these jokers. I'm surrounded! This says they... Oh, and they're, they're just going to target. They're not going to use a boot, right? They're not going to use a boot. we got to remember that because I'm going to... That's going to be hard to remember, is that they won't use a boot. They only move here. So in this case, nothing happens, right? That's cool. All right, that's really hard to remember, because your, your brain tells you that, you know, hey, this is the thing that happens all the time. All right, so because that's the rules of the game. So then we're going to go on to the panic phase. We've got uh, nobody died, so we're going to go to upkeep, nothing to do, and we're going to go back to us. Now, I love that we get to roll three dice. Let's try to walk... You know what's a real bummer? I, I want the map or something because I, I want to find a good weapon. All right, walking is sl only slightly successful today, but that's okay. We're going to go one space down here. That's going to cost us one time. And now what? Now we have one raft, two raft. We could raft on over to Grandma's house. Let's try it. I've never done this before. Let's see. <laughs> All right, rafting... Huh. So I really want to be able to kill both of those guys because if I don't kill them, then what's going to happen is we're going to be on the wrong side of the river. So I think we're going to play close call and just re-roll one die just for free just to see if we can get a kill. You know what? I'm just going to have to take that. Weak attack and shh. No, I need my weak attack. All of a sudden, this card I've been throwing away for, you know, so many games is really handy to have all of a sudden. So maybe I get rid of focus and short rest. How's that sound? For our two successes on a raft. So that gives me minus one time. And this says, okay, move to the next raft space, which was only here, but it puts us in grandma's house, which is which is on the other side of the river, which I like. Kill two zombies in each space next to the river segments moved through. So if you figure I came here and then the, the, the actual space is down here, we, we killed these two zombies, right? Kill two zombies in each space next to the river segments moved through. So we killed these two guys. Okay, that was good. That was very good. Now the question is, how far away are we from the exits? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're equal. Um, Interesting. Okay. So that's one raft. Now what do we do? Do we... Oh, man. Oh, man. We could raft over to here. We can't kill anybody, but then we could walk out of that space and potentially beat up the guy in that space. Let's try that. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. Although I kind of like being in grandma's space because she has the cage. Ooh. I don't remember exactly what the songbirds do. Isn't it like three zones away they can do damage to the killer or something or do do damage? I can't remember. It's I, It's been a while since I've seen it. Hmm, <laughs> maybe we maybe we just sit tight and see how this goes, because we can also walk pretty far if we have to, right? And and chances are we could probably kill somebody else if we if we surf into a zone here. So let's just end our turn. Let's buy some cards with our four points. Um, we definitely want to take at least one search for two points, and that leaves us two points. So let's see. God, do we just take another search card? Ooh, but there's Sprint. No, we need to get around. Let's just try to be lucky with our one search. 
We're not going to have a close call, but that's just life. All right, raft, close call, and then some free cards we'll take back next time. All right, so we're done with the planning phase. Let's go on to these jerks. They are going to... This guy's not going to move. This guy is going to move over here, and that's it for them. Then they're going to spawn one, and... Um, I want to put them down here, right? I mean, they're, we're, we're equal. We're one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four away. Uh, for the sake of, of keeping them down here, I'm not going to roll for it. I want, I want to see what happens if we keep them all together. I'm going to... Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, so plus one horror, so we're back down to two dice. If there's at least one horde in play, panic all victims. We, we've done very good about keeping the horde in check here. Okay, so now it's going to go to panic phase. Nobody died again, that's weird. Um, and then we're going to go to the um, upkeep phase. There's nothing to do. And now we are in Grandma's house with one single search card. And, ooh, wait, no. Can I get a third card? I have one focus. Well, we need one success on this. Of course. <laughs> oh, man, I have no rerolls. That's awful. Well, Grandma, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a bummer. And the other bummer is that, like, if I'm if I'm on the raft here and I go back up, I could kill this guy again. But then I'm like ignoring all this mess, and I don't want to ignore, you know, these guys. And especially if these guys are making their way up here. So let's let's go. Do we just cross the bridge? Do we just perhaps we run for it, or do we take the? Yeah, let's see how far we can go. On a, oh, I have another search. That's right. I did take two searches. Okay. Let's. Or I'm God. I didn't even do. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm talking out of my nether regions. There we go. That was focus, not a search. There we go. Okay. So now we have a successful search. Really good, actually. So minus one time. And that says take the two top cards from Grandma's house and take a look. Let's see what we have here. We have the Songbirds and a Slingshot. The Slingshot cannot modify an action card and must be used without one. It can only be used once per round. Do not discard the Slingshot after two uses. You may remove a search card in your hand from the game to replenish this item's uses. And it does two damage at a range of one. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm, I like that. I don't remember how the songbirds work, but I remember them being awesome, I think. So we're going to take the cage, then it says you may discard this item to retrieve the songbirds from the item discard pile or from the unused item cards. Oh, but wait a minute. Do we know if it's in there? Oh, but we would, ha right, we would have to have them, right? Retrieve them from the item discards pile or the unused item cards. Well, how are you supposed to know? Well, we know it's not in the discard pile, and then here's the unused cards, and they're not in here. So I can't just go get them, so that's worthless then, right? From the... Huh, all right, well then we put that at the bottom, that's a bummer, and we take a slingshot because the cage is useless. That's silly. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to take two... Oop, I knocked myself off of Grandma's house. All right, we're going to take two uses of this. There we go. Maybe I'm just reading that card wrong, but it doesn't sound like I can go digging through the item piles. It says... It doesn't... It doesn't... Oh, I put, I put it away. That's all right. That's fine. This thing is pretty great anyway. <laughs> all right. So, again, what do we do? What do we do? Do we... Let's try to... Gosh, I really don't like this only having two dice thing. Let's try to walk and see if we can get up to this guy. Holy smokes. Okay, we're doing amazing on these rolls. So we're going to go one... And I'm going to take you with me and go two spaces into this zone with this zombie here. And then we're going to weak attack. And I really just want to smack you in the face, brother. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Boom. Another dead zombie. I never get so many successes in a row. Do we, do we push it? Do we try to get down into that space with that zombie down there? Oh, I knew our luck would run out. Okay, that's okay. We have a sprint and a wrath, and I think it might just be worth it to ditch it, right? Because then we go... Minus one time, and then we can move two spaces, which lets us go one, two. We're in a space with a zombie now. That's not wonderful, but we rescued two more people, and we can go minus one horror, and we can go... Oh, snap. We could totally go move one space. <laughs> so let's go move one space over to here, I guess, because I feel like this guy's going to... If I can pile these idiots up, well, then we're going to have a spawn here in a second. 
Okay, so maybe that was a little weird. We don't have any cards now, so and we only have one point, so all we can buy is a close call. So what are we going to have? A walk of focus and a short rest. Yeah, it's going to be a bad turn for us. Um, all right, so let's go on to putting all of our cards back. I don't know how... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Before... Wait a minute. Maybe we can keep keep this in check. Maybe we can keep this in check. So before we're done, we have the slingshot. It can only be used once per round. Do not discard the slingshot. So if I'm here, I can shoot that guy at the cost of one. So let's say we did that and killed this idiot. Boom, another dead zombie from there to there when we moved. Right? Because now they're going to spawn at the furthest place away from me, which is right here. And we can cut up there, hopefully... Oh man, we're gonna be we're gonna like I'm one round off mentally I think, which is then gonna cause a guy to spawn down here. <laughs> oh wait, is this what I have? Yeah, this is what I have. Short rest, walk, and focus. Okay, so we're done. We'll reset this to six. We're going to go to actually theoretically all I need is two walks, right? Okay, so then we're going to go to them, and now they're going to walk to me. This guy's not going to move. He's gonna stand right there. Um, then we're going to spawn a zombie, which is going to go up here. That's the furthest place away, because that's only one space away. Then we're going to draw a terror card. Don't forget, double tap. Okay, so they're going to attack a victim. That's a bummer. So this guy dies. Oh, man. Because then the horror goes up, and then another zombie spawns right where I'm standing, which I'm not prepared to deal with. And then we have to panic everybody. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, so I guess we start with this guy. See? I had such good plans, so five. Don't waste my good rolls. Where's five for this guy? Down to the meadow, and he's going to panic again because he was here. Now he goes down to the meadow. The meadow panics him six, so he's going to come down to my spot. Well, okay. This guy's going to panic to a three, which sends him here. In the clearing, we have a panic of four up to the gingerbread house. Right outside of the village, we have a, two panics. Two and six, we're going to go... Down here and up to the village, and there's two panics in the village. One and five. So one is going to come out. And Okay, well that messed things up a bit. Dang, what really messed this up is, is that this guy died. There was a guy here that died. That's a bummer. And now that we go to panic phase, that guy's going to panic. Great. Three is... Up here. Oh, and then he panics because he's in the meadow again. <laughs> One. All right, so he's going to go, well, kind of right back where he was, I think, right? All right, so that's panic phase done, and it goes back to us. Now, we don't have anything useful to do here. What we really need to do is kill these two jokers in our spot, which we can't really do. What I would love to see... Yeah, well, I guess the only thing I can do this because that's going to be of any import is this. Um, so there's one success. I actually think I'm going to ditch a short rest at a close call so that I can get two successes, mainly because I get plus two time. That gets us back to three dice, but the idea here is I'm ending my turn now, right? And if we have... So we're going to have all these cards. We're going to have two walks, right? We're going to have two walks. Theoretically, one, two, three... We need to get up there. The next zombie spawn is going to be here, and this guy should come down to this victim, right? So we know that we need to kill these two guys. The problem is, how do we do that? We have eight points, retaliate, and furious strike. Those are our eight points worth of stuff. That's our best bet. We still have a slingshot. Okay, now, these guys are going to go. So this guy's going to move into this space down here. We're going to spawn another zombie. It's going to go up there. Then we draw a terror card... Oh, interesting. Getting treats for grandmother. Take the top card of the village item deck. So now, oh sweet, so now I have flowers that go on my backpack and three uses on these bad boys. So they may be used once per action phase if the horror level is, a, is two or higher to lower the horror by one. Flowers for grandma. That's right. Grandma hooked us up this game, right? She got us a slingshot, as grandmas do. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> all right, what else do we have here? So then they're not going to move, right? Because we know now, we remember that they do not move, but they will still attack. So unfortunately, we've got a dead guy here who becomes a zombie. Um, there's that. This is going to push this up. Uh-oh, event card. And then I'm going to take 
two, no, I'm not. I'm going to retaliate, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to retaliate, and then we have to draw an event card, so let's not forget that either. I'm going to put that over there so I don't forget it. <laughs> Come on, retaliate. All right, what did retaliate do for me? Not good enough. I need to kill both of these idiots. So let's get rid of... Fo oh, no. Focus and weak attack, which is weird. But that's what I'm doing. So that this way I can take no damage. I can kill both of these guys. Oh, we're on fire now, I feel like, right? And that's the end of the stuff for these guys. We'll put this over here. The event card is the Woodsman. The victim closest to you is now the Woodsman. Who's close to me? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's this guy for sure. Okay, so this guy's the Woodsman now. Orange. Uh, when attacking the killer, the Woodsman adds plus one die for every three health the killer has. If you save the Woodsman, double your victim save bonus. If the Woodsman dies, minus three time. Okay, well, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, he's way over there, nice and safe. And that's it for those guys. So we go to panic phase. There's nobody to panic. So th in theory... If we can walk two spaces, have a successful f f a furious strike, that's going to be our problem. Okay, let's try it. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see here. Let's put all of our cards. Oh, retaliate we just used. I forgot to put these back. And then I spent weak attack and focus. So these need to be back out here. Those I just spent. Okay, so let's walk. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so minus one time, we're going to walk two spaces. One, two. We're in a space with these guys. Now, this is it. This is what has to happen. This has to have two successes, and we can guarantee a win. <laughs> about zero successes? Zero successes on Furious Strike is about as awful as it could possibly be. Because I take a damage, horror rises, which means I lose a die, and then it force ends my turn. That was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh, wow. Well, jeez. Unbelievable. And that leaves me with a walk card I can't use. So, we'll take... Um... Oh, and I can't even use my flowers because it force ends my turn. And I should have done that ahead of time to push it down like I normally would be very conscious of, but that's okay. Okay, we'll take back short rest and focus. And we have five points to spend. So, I mean, we're going to get attacked. We don't really have much of a choice here. We have to at least take one guard. I feel like perhaps... Perhaps we take... Another, what else can we do here that's any good? We can take, we can take an improvise. That would have certainly saved the day before, but the problem is now we don't have any attack cards, so that's not going to help us at all. We're by a raft space, but that also doesn't help us at all. <laughs> How about we take one close call? Okay, we have two more points. You know what? Why don't we just take a sprint? Because we need to move. We might not use it this turn, but that's okay. Um... The idea was Furious strike these two guys and slingshot that guy and win, but of course, none of that worked out. I cannot believe it. Actually, I can believe it. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> okay, gosh, that's a bummer. Okay, so let's go back to these jokers now. They are going to walk, so these guys are going to stay here. This guy, uh-oh, is going to walk. Oh, no. Into my space. Then we're going to spawn a zombie. Now it's down here because that's the furthest one away. Then we're going to go to a terror card. Oh, jeez, we're going to spawn another one. Okay. Well, now their phase ends, and this becomes a horde. Because there's three here. So what happens is, is we put one, two, three. We take the horde marker, and we flip this over. Super horde. If a horde moves into a space with another horde, merge them into one horde, combining their health. If any horde ever has 12 or more health, you immediately lose the game. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. And they have no upper health limit. They move as a single unit. If it ever shares a space with a zombie, the zombie's, like, assimilated into the horde. Oh, dear. Okay. And we can't let that horde get out of hand, which is terrible because I don't have a single attack card now. Oh, man. This is awful. Okay. So they're done. We're going to go to panic phase. I've got nothing for it. We're going to go to... 
upkeep, I've got nothing, and then we go back to us. So the first thing is we're going to use the flowers, right? We're going to use the flowers once to bring our horror back down to get us our third die again. Now we're sitting in a group of people that we can't even hurt that have three hit points. I think the smart play here... I don't really have a smart play here. So what, what does the killer do? So now that they're considered we have killers on the board, they're actually going to move one space towards me. We have no way to fight anybody, and I'm wondering now if the best option is going to be to use the slingshot once right now to kill this guy. Then we move. And if we move down here, all I need is two successes on a walk. It'll cause this guy to come to me, and these guys are going to come down to me as well. I want to keep them away from up here. I need to, I need to get a handle on these guys. So let's try that. Let's try a walk and see if we can get two successes. And I know it seems weird. Oh, of course, of course. All right, let's try this. Unbelievable. All right, there we go. Three successes. Okay, so three successes on a walk is minus one time. So we're down to three time, but we can move two spaces down here. Now, we can also short... Oh, man, what I want is more time. Is it worth risking a focus roll to get plus two time? Yes! Okay, yeah, that was risky. <laughs> okay, so minus one horror, but plus two time. I'm, I'm a lot happier with that because now we have five time to spend, which means... So we're going to have our weak attack back, which is which is fabulous. But I also know that these guys are real jerks, and they're probably going to come down, and if they hit us, they're going to kill us, because we only have three hit points, and they attack for three, and they might end up attacking for four, because if this guy moves over and this guy moves down, we're in trouble. So I do think that... We do have... Not that guard is doing us any good. Retaliate might be our best bet, and then we'll take, with our one point, a close call. What do we think about that? And yeah, we have a guard card already, so we'll take these. That's how we spent our five. I really wanted a search card, but I don't have one. I can't afford it. Oh, these crazy zombies. Okay, so now the zombies are going to get to go. So this guy's going to walk over to me first. Then we're going to spawn another zombie up here again. And then we are going to do the killer action, which is move only one space down towards me and they're going to attack nothing, and then a terror card says, oh no, minor dark power, mom, is that you? If a victim would peck, instead move it towards the closest enemy. When three zombies or one horde have been killed and placed on this card, remove this card from the game. If a victim would panic, instead move it closer to the enemy. Oh no, well at least it doesn't give him any hit points, I guess. Okay, well, that's not so bad, I guess, because they're all up here and they're all down here. All right, so we move on to panic phase, nothing to do, upkeep phase. Now it's us. Now it's time for payback. We do not have... Oh, but we don't have... Oh, I, was gonna, I, would, I would do some things for a weapon, let me tell you. I, <laughs> so we have one zombie in our zone. Let's just try a weak attack. Oh, my God. What do we dump? What do we dump? I think we dump a focus. I need to be able to move. Like, that's the biggest problem I've got right now. And we need to do at least one point of damage. And I'm going to be really hurting. I'm going to dump close call and focus for one success on a weak attack. That's going to do one damage to me. One damage to me. But it's going to kill the zombie in our space. I don't want that zombie to become, become part of that horde. Right? Now, the other problem is, is the horde has three hit points, not just two, right? So if we're going to let them come to us and we're going to hit them with retaliate, meaning next turn we need to be able to hit them. So assuming retaliate is successful, let's say we hit them for two damage, they're still going to be alive and we won't have our weak attack. So we're going to need to hit them again. So I think we spend four points on Furious Strike and two on a Search card. Okay, so that, that's six. We're going to take our free cards back. We're going to put Weak Attack, Focus, Close Call. We're done. Back to the zombies. They are going to... Boy, it's just fortunate that this is two zones away and this is only one zone away. Um, now they're going to go. So they are going to move. 
The minions on the... They're going to come... Oh, so that guy's going to panic, right? Because he can't get to me. So he's going to go to a two. So he'll come down here. Oh, I, did I just move the other one down? I didn't panic him, didn't I? The one that was here last round, I think I just moved him down. I don't think I shambled for him. That's a bummer. Well, oops. Um, okay, and now the... And then we're going to spawn a zombie, which is, again, going to be up here. And then we're going to have the horde move here and attack... This is where Retaliate comes in handy. We have three dice still. And, oh, crud. I really needed two successes on that. Do I have a reroll of sorts? I don't! Crud. All right, so they hit me for one damage, and I only do one damage to the Horde. That's a bummer. Okay, so then that's done. Then Terror comes, and that is the full moon is out. Roll a die, then place the killer in the... Oh, no, they're leaving! Four, the meadow. Oh, that's right by me. Okay, that's not the end of the world. All victims in that space are killed. If no victim was killed, draw and resolve the next terror card. Oh, man. Okay, don't forget, double tap. Okay, so that's not so bad. Because now they're, nobody's moving and they're just going to swing and there's nobody to kill where they all are. But it says all panic, uh, panic all victims. Remember, we have this card, which means they just move closer to where they are. To the bad guys. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, whatever. You'll come, I guess, down here, and you'll go there. Okay. All right. Good enough. Okay. Dang. All right. So now that was ter uh oh. They're down to their last terror card. This just got real. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna go to panic phase. We're gonna go to upkeep phase. Um, man, I don't like this at all. Okay, so it's back to us. Now, is there a way with all of these eight cards to do what we need to do? We need to walk, right? We got to walk to them. We need to do two, well, hmm. We could kill them with the slingshot, right? Um, that says, do not discard the slingshot after two uses. You may remove a search card in your hand from the game. So that's out of the game now to replenish your two shots. Okay, so let's just do that. I don't think we're getting another weapon, right? We're kind of hoarding, you know, hiding out on this side of the river. Okay, so let's let's say let's say that if we kill that guy with a slingshot I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this and I'm just coming up blank. I don't think that's going to work. We need to walk we need to we need to walk, furious strike, walk. Right, we don't have it. We need weak attack, <laughs> and then we can we can slingshot that guy. There's no way to get on top of these guys. <laughs> this is insane. Well, and then the finale is gonna come, and God only knows what's gonna happen there. Well. Let's see how far we walk. One space. So one time for one space. We're in their zone. Let's use Furious Strike and hope it doesn't end our game. Okay. We need to make this two successes somehow. Boy, I don't want to get rid of any of this. Let's get rid of Focus and Walk. So that's two successes. So that's minus one Horde, which is just plus one time. But it's also two damage to the Horde that is in our space. Okay, so that's... Oh, good, and we can get rid of this stupid card now because we killed a horde, so that's fine. So they're gone. They're gone. Now, we could walk into their... We could attempt to walk into their space. The problem is we're going to have a guy right here. Oh, failed hard. A short rest and a guard is a tall order to give up, though. I think we're going to do it, though. Because two, one success on a sprint is still going to cost just one time. But we can move two spaces. And if I go one, two... No, I kind of want to stay here, I guess, right? Yeah, I think, I think if I stay there, this guy will come down to me. Well, we don't know what's going to happen, so huh, we'll see. Okay, so we're done. We're going to take our, our weak attack and our focus back for free. So what we really need... Oh God, see, now I don't have a kill card. I don't have a way to kill 
what's going to happen is, is I can slingshot this guy, weak attack that guy, but we're going to have a zombie down here. <laughs> and then, and then what? What if I buy a sprint? One, two, three. I have no way to kill him. I have no way to kill him. I can't afford critical blow. I only have five points and no cards in my hand, right? These are free. Well, is this where is this where we use? A, okay, two to the raft, two to close call. That's what we've got. That's our. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Okay. We don't have six, we only have five. So there, one close call, two rafts. So that's that. Let's put all these back. This is gnarly. It is just, how do you do this when there's three exit zones, right? They're, they're spawning all over the place. I don't even understand this. I feel like I must be doing this horribly wrong somehow. I cannot get on top of these guys. Okay, so now it's their turn. So this guy's gonna move down here with me. Then we're gonna spawn a zombie. It's gonna be down here. Then, there's no more killer, so we're going to flip this, which says... Um, oh, I might die. I don't have a guard card. So they're going to attack me for two, and I have hit points. Baby. Oh, I should have been rolling an extra die that whole time, too. I forgot. Whoops. That probably... Well, I don't know if it would have done any good. Hey, that's all right, though. Except for now... The horror goes up one, then end of killer phase, upkeep, we have the finale, which is, I'm overwhelmed, move all zombies before resolving attacks, and so they all move, oh, they move and attack now, when this card is revealed, replace your final health token with a white final health, oh, wow, <laughs> well, I mean, talk about good timing to draw that, I guess, right, okay, okay. All right, I mean, it is a white final health token, but now everybody's moving to kill me. Okay, well, maybe that's better that they come to me because I'm, I have, I am, I am, right, I don't even have a way to do two points of damage, though. Oh, my God. You know what, though? They stop spawning. I just realized that. They stop spawning. Nowhere on there does it say they spawn. Okay, so back to us. So the first thing we're going to use is the flowers. Do I have a little token over there I lost? Probably. It's going to lower the horror again. Now, if we... If we use the raft with three dice, we get three dice? We get three dice, okay. Ah, I just threw one right out of the thing. All right, there we go. So we have, we have that, so that's no good. We need two successes. So let's do focus and close call for two successes on the raft. It's minus one time. I think I didn't lower it before. And the raft says we can move to the next raft space. We're at grandma's house, but we're doing two points of damage um, to these guys, so we moved you know, from that space, right? Each space next to the river segments moved through. So we were here, and we moved all the way to those places. Assuming I'm reading that right, anyway. Okay, so then we have another raft. So let's try it again, and I want to come over here to where the woodsman is. Holy smokes, we're going to fail unbelievably. That's pretty sweet. So what does that say? That says, uh, move to the next... Raft space, kill one zombie in a space next to the river, seg um, next, to one zombie in a space. Um, so we're not, we're not near, there were, there were no zombies like here, or, or I guess here, right? There was no zombie in the glen, so that's, that's the raft. And all we have is a weak attack, but we can't get there, <gasps> but we can use the slingshot to kill this guy. And I'm sure that was... Probably not right. I can't even imagine when I messed up. <laughs> it feels good, though, <laughs> right? It feels pretty good, though. I can't believe we only... I can't believe... Two things. I can't believe we only rescued three people, and I can't believe we only had three people die. Wow. I'm sure I messed a, up a spawn somewhere, or, like, I think this... Towards, like, like, three turns ago, I think this guy should have panicked, right? Like, I should have rolled... And then, like, one to three, he should have came down here. We'll just pretend that's the legal role I, I missed when I moved him down here anyway. Because my brain just said move him closer to me instead of panic him because he couldn't reach anybody because this guy wasn't here. I think the setup was that, and this guy had no... I think he had no close victim. I don't think I was here. I think I was here or here. And my brain just said move him down here. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that... I 
think is how you play Terror from the Grave. I'm not entirely sure, but I sure had a lot of fun doing it. Whether or not it was right, I don't know. So we'll find out in the comments. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much to everybody who watches these, and um, especially when you catch any rules mistakes and just, just have a kind word to say. It's nice. It's nice to see positivity in the world. Let's, you know what, before we go, I can't believe it. You know what, and this. This, this was, I mean, I obviously would have died. There's, look at that, there's a hatchet, a pitchfork, all kinds of weapons that I could have used. Oh, man. Thorny vines, even. I could have used all of this fantastic weaponry. There's the songbirds. If the killer, see, and it only attacks the killer anyway. I thought about that, too, thinking it would be worthless for us. The red cape, the, um, yeah, the cage we put on the bottom. The basket and some candy. Look, Grandma's house was hooking it up. <laughs> the has the birds a slingshot, the candy, and the basket is shuffle the unused item cards and draw three. Keep the items that are not weapons. So if we would have shuffled up these, we could have kept not an archery bow, not a knife. Grandma would have hooked up, um, I guess technically that's a weapon. She would have had bread, candy, the birds, and the slingshot for us. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, all right. There we are. We didn't, we didn't lose the woodsman either, amazingly enough. So, all right. Well, until next time, put good things out into the world, and remember that games are made for everyone's recreation. We'll see you later.